So as you can see, we have the Redmi Note 9 Pro in front of us. Now this box looks pretty much the same as what we've seen in the past from the company. And there's quite a lot to take in if you look really closely. So let's look at the front of the phone first. Obviously we can see there's a pretty large screen with relatively narrow borders and, and the hole punch front camera right up top over there. At the back, we can see that there are four cameras in this squarish module in the center. And if you look very closely, you'll see what appears to be a power button on the side with an embedded fingerprint sensor. Now you can tell because it's just slightly depressed and wide over there. We can see also that this particular unit is the 6GB RAM and 128GB storage variant. And uh, Xiaomi is very proud of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 720G processor. So taking a look around the sides of the box, there's really nothing other than the name. We've just got a shipping label over there, but there's a lot more to see on the back. So of course, again, we see the 720G uh, processor highlighted, but we also get told that it's manufactured on an eight nanometer process and optimized for power consumption. We can tell that there is a 48 megapixel camera as one of the four on the rear and a 16 megapixel one on the front. The display is 6.67 inches diagonally and uh, of course the dot over there is emphasized once again. But we are also told that there's Corning Gorilla Glass on the front and back of this phone. And the next highlight is the 5020 milliamp hour battery with an 18 watt fast charger in the box. There's even more fine print over here. So we see that yes, there is a 48 megapixel primary camera. The rest are eight, five and two megapixels. Um, and those are an ultra wide angle macro and depth camera respectively. We have a splash proof nano coating, but no official IP rating. Dual Volti with Wi-Fi support, uh, Navic, which is India's satellite navigation system, which is the equivalent of the global GPS system, uh, Type-C USB connector, and there is confirmation that we have a side-mounted fingerprint sensor. And we also see that this is the Aurora Blue version, and of course we have a bright red Made in India logo right here. So there isn't much left to do, uh, let's just open this box and take a look at the device itself. There we have it. There's a little paper folder at the top with the SIM eject pin as expected. Very minimal paperwork and a completely clear transparent rear case. Now here we have the phone itself. And there we have it. The blue which is a lot brighter than the image on the cover of the box would have led us to believe. We can see the protruding quad camera array over there with another patch that extends downwards with the flash embedded in the center right over there. Let's take these stickers off. There we can see the very, very glossy back of the Aurora blue version of the Redmi Note 9 Pro. Not only is it very glossy, but it does catch the light as we turn it around and you can see these patterns reflecting. So there's another protective plastic sheet on the front. And what we can do is turn the phone on while we look at the rest of the box contents. So as expected, there isn't a whole lot to see. We have a USB type C cable. And here is the relatively chunky 18 watt adapter. So there you have it. That's everything you get in the box with the Redmi Note 9 Pro. So here's the phone and obviously it runs MIUI 11. Let's quickly go through the setup process. So while we're waiting for the phone to set up, here's a little detail that we've just noticed. It seems that the chin of the Redmi Note 9 Pro is quite a bit thicker on the device itself than it looks like on the lid of the box. We can also see that the cutout for the camera is quite a bit larger than this picture would have us believe. So now the phone is set up and we can take a closer look at it. Let's look at the hardware first. Here we have on the side the power button with the integrated fingerprint sensor and the volume buttons right above it. Now these won't be very easy to reach but that's something that uh, people will have to live with. On the top we have a secondary microphone 
and the usual infrared emitter which you can use to control various appliances. At the bottom, we have a USB Type-C port, a speaker grill and thankfully a 3.5mm audio socket. You can see the metal frame of the phone matches the color of the rear. Let's now take a look at the SIM slot. There, as we can clearly see, there are two individual cutouts for nano SIMs as well as a micro SD card slot. On the rear, of course, we have the four cameras in a slightly raised bump, and we can already see quite a lot of fingerprints on the back of this phone. So let's talk about the design a little bit. Xiaomi is calling this its Aura Balance design and that's because everything is meant to be perfectly symmetrical. So the cameras on the rear, the placement as well as the bump itself, the flash, the text on either side of the flash that says 48 megapixel and just camera, the logo. So according to Xiaomi, everything about the weight of this phone is perfectly balanced. So if you hold it in your hand, you shouldn't have any issues. So right on the front, we have the 6.67 inch display, which is the largest ever on a Redmi Note device. Uh, we have, of course, a full HD plus resolution here. There's Gorilla Glass 5 on the front as well as the back. And Xiaomi tells us that this is an IPS panel. The primary 48 megapixel camera on the rear uses a Samsung isocell sensor and has an f1.7 aperture as well as super phase detection autofocus. Xiaomi has said that the color profile that this camera captures is optimized for Indian tastes. 